So starting off this episode, right, I did find a side up, but it keeps dodging my thing, and uh, I can't, can't battle this thing. <laughs> Uh, this is like literally I sat there for like five minutes before I started filming also trying to battle it But this guy he just dodged me like 20 times in a row So that was pretty awesome on him, but yeah, so welcome back to pixelmon everybody and um, hopefully this guy doesn't kill me No, we should be fine here. And uh, yeah, so uh, Hello Psyduck and uh, there you go. So getting another orb and a metal coat So that's pretty interesting because a metal coat is actually the um, It's evolution thing. So let me see I think right I, I'm, I'm looking this up right now, by the way, and I'll say thank you to you, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, where's Metal Coat on here? So, Metal Coat, if we hit show, it boosts the, uh, oh, it boosts the type of, wait, blah, blah, blah. boosts the power of Steel type moves by 20% when held, and it has a secondary effect, causes Onyx to evolve into Steelix, and calls the Scyther to evolve into Scissor, or Scizor, well, that's awkward. So I was collecting materials for uh, what we were going to do in the episode today, which you'll obviously see probably a few seconds after this, and hello, beautiful. So I figured I'd film this part of the mining process because this is actually the first legitimate diamonds we are uh, finding. I don't know why I didn't get an achievement, but yeah. So uh, we did have diamonds that people gave to us, but I don't think we've actually found any legitimately yet in this series. So uh, there you go, and here's all the other stuff I got, uh, you know, iron stuff. I gotta go smelt this all. We got 25 gold, which actually pretty good. So that's 250 bucks, and um, I did ask for some startup, startup donations, so we did get a solid... Oh my god, that's how much people gave to... Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so we're doing pretty decent on money, and uh, I'm sure you can guess what uh, I'm gonna be doing with this, so I'll be right back. So as is becoming like typical nature, we are actually coming back to a boss battle, and it is a yellow boss Ratatata, and I think uh, Monferno may be a little out of le uh, his league right there. So um, what I'm going to switch into, Salamence is unfortunately quite hurt, so I'm going to switch into Volcarana, and he's not going to be able to do too much to us. And just to uh, solidify this, I'm going to Quiver Dance once, and uh, because this is a... You know, he is quite a bit of a higher level than me. And I'm going to incinerate, and hopefully we will land that. And, yeah, see, he could actually do a huge amount of damage to me if he does this right. And, oh, crap. Oh, we got him. Oh, just kidding. So, uh, there you go. Learning Faint. That's awesome. And we could, uh, well, what does this do? An attack hits the target. A target using Protector to detect. It also loves the effects of those moves. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. I guess I'll take that. And, uh, oh, damn, we got a lot of stuff. So we got Vino Shock. That's a really good move. We got Electrolyzer. We got Ice... Oh, my God. That is an amazing move. Ice Beam, an Ice Heal, and a Thunderstone. So we got some freaking awesome moves, uh, or items as well. And uh, as you can see, I have been quite busy doing um, all different, various kinds of things. So we could do Slash Backpack. We have some Melon Seeds in here. Um... What are we going to do with this stuff? <laughs> I don't really know. Well, we could throw the Thunderstone in there because clearly uh, we, we have plenty of room for that. We're going to want to also throw in the uh, Ice Beam, definitely, because I do not want to have that in my inventory. As well as Vino Shock, we could also throw in there because, frankly, these little guys, I mean, the Paralyzed Heals and all that, they're cool, but they're not, like... You know, they're not quintessential to anything. So we could throw down some of the string and stuff. Um, the Moonstone also I want to throw in there. We have plenty of room for that. And uh, that is everything. So I'll keep that with me. And uh, there you go. So let's see what uh, what, what we're going to do now. So what I've been planning for this episode. And um, I, I, I filmed the first part of this actually yesterday. So there's that. But um, I'm going to open up the recipes on my second monitor right now, as that's why it's going to be. Basically, what I wanted to do is t change place a little, because we have just been training, training, training. But that's not nearly as fun. And what I did was clear out this nice little spot. Now, what I want to do today is, with all of our money that we've gathered, uh, with all the ores we've smelted, as you can see, um, even though I can't take them out, uh, I, I, we have gathered a whole bunch of stuff. What I want to do is actually create a town. So what we can do is go to spawn really quickly and uh, try and sell this stuff. So hello, Swan is out here now. And oh, this is an electrolyzer. That is not what I want, but we are gonna need one of those very shortly. So I don't know, where do you sell uh, things? As Swan is going under tons and tons of changes and um, maybe maybe they weren't replaced. But that, that, that's not too much of a problem just yet. We don't really need the money, so we could throw it in our backpack for the time being and go back to where we were by using slash back because I actually don't have a home or anything set here. So let's, let's be careful of that. Actually, I'm gonna set my home here now so i'll do slash set home one okay just kidding you can't do that slash set hometown and what we're going to be doing is try to get um start our actual town now so we could do slash town new and uh well obviously i gotta specify a town name we could do slash town new juice fill so here we go we do have juice fill here where we go and uh, obviously we've got to claim all this land and stuff like that um oh 
oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they must have, like, burnt out or something. But, um, yeah, basically what we have is an awesome t little place right here. I will uh, show you a little bit more of that. Actually, I need a chest is what I really need. And we can do slash workbench really quickly. And uh, let's see, we could make you into some logs. And we only need eight. So, well, we could just use one of you really quick. Oh, crap, that did not go as I wanted it to. So we could throw one of them in there. And, oh, crap, just kidding. And go like that and then go like this and we can do mix and matching actually i'm gonna need a little bit more than this aren't i i didn't think that through this is only gonna give me one chest so i'm not gonna get too far with that but it'll suffice for the time being and let's see what do i have in my backpack i, I something i, I do want to get is maybe put some stuff in an ender chest but for the time being yeah I, let's uh dump all the crap i don't need immediately like this excess food um the birch wood I don't need right now. We have like nine stacks of wood because I chopped down all those trees surrounding us. I'll actually take that one stack right there. All the saplings, all the feathers, um, the max elixir I'll keep with me. Um, I guess the iron hammer, that's that. I'm not using that right now. That's that. So most of our coal. So there you go. And then we could empty out some of our backpack stuff. So this chest shouldn't be going anywhere. So we could feel pretty comfortable throwing stuff in here. I'll actually keep the XX, S, excess iron in there just in case we actually do need it. I'll take the saplings out. I don't even know why some of that stuff's in there. Uh, the blocks of redstone don't really need to be in there. And um, the electrolyzer I also want to put in there. And we also have that bread. I want to keep the bread in there. I, I want to keep some of the stuff in here just as like kind of a fallback plan in case everything else goes boom. And then our eight diamonds, obviously, I do want to keep in there so we can throw all this stuff in there actually i'll take out the apples because um i like apples they're good and actually melons what is it that makes rare candy oh crap i clicked uh down but what i, I have the recipes right here so rare candy sh theoretically should be somewhere pretty much on this list or it shouldn't be I don't see it. Rare candy, rare candy, rare candy, rare candy, rare candy. I don't know but what we can do is try and make a um a pokey loot thing or not a pokey yeah a pokey loot chest finder and i'm going to do that really quickly right now so well we do have some gold on us so we're going to need three gold uh one redstone which we did put in our chest and what else then we need some glass i don't have any sand i don't even have a shovel so we're gonna have to create a shovel actually i should create a workbench so we could do that as well oh i put all my wood away oh no i didn't just kidding and we can make a stack of wood really quickly or a few make an actual workbench because albeit having slash workbench is quite convenient having a real workbench is even more convenient and uh, what we can do some people are fine or fighting and um let's see so actually we could expand this chest now that we have everything established where we want it to be and we can throw another chest down right there beautiful and um so yeah as you can see juice fill settlement no pvp and we are home and i'm going to be recruiting people to this town and what i really want to see is you guys helping me build the town i do definitely want to have that and um yeah, all around. So, oh wait, I have sticks. So we could uh, make a little shovel really quickly. And wow, I'm failing really hard right now. And oh, just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> Clearly, I don't. The server's failing really hard right now, uh, as you just saw. And uh, yes, yeah, so we can make one of these guys really quickly. And I'll just go go mine some of the sand at the end. We only need one technically. Actually, no, we need six technically. So there's one, two, three. Actually, we could just mine down. Four, five, six. I'm gonna do that so it fixes it and six. Oh, and six there you go so now we can swim back up here throw this in the furnace and uh, we'll we'll get our all the sand that we desire and what the hell happened here well haven't i been trying to smelt you with like five different types of blocks or something like that so we could take you out throw in our six sand actually let's go get two more just so it uh evens out and actually smelts the full eight because that's how much one coal smelts if you didn't know that you probably should have because well frankly that's like quintessential knowledge in minecraft but it's okay so we'll get our sand in a second as well as we need some aluminium. So um, to get that, we're going to have to make one of these guys. And this is what you hammer down the aluminium on. And so we'll get that. And I guess we can really just place that right there. For the time being, we do have a hammer luckily for us. And I throw the aluminium in here. Uh, no, it's still in my backpack. It's weird because the pixel on uh, aluminium, I like to call aluminium. I keep saying that word, and it's kind of weird, but um, the actual aluminium in real life, where is my aluminium? Wow, I'm saying that too many times, and there you go, And but pixel, aluminium in real life, I don't know, I just, I like, I, I call it aluminum, because that's what it actually is if you do not know, and um, I think I've talked about that before though, so you should know that, because I educated you all. So we do have an efficiency 2 hammer, that's awesome for us, and we could hammer this guy down, 
and uh, as you can see aluminium taking quite a while even with efficiency too it does take quite quite a while and uh, fortunately for us though we do have quite a few of them, or we only need um, two of them right now so that's going to be good and then we can get our pokey loot finder thing and as I did say, I do want to try and get all this stuff kind of built and uh, done this episode because frankly, we haven't been doing um, too much town building and stuff like that. And this is a survival series and a survival server, obviously. It is, if, and some of you guys have, uh, I don't think some, a big chunk of you didn't even know who, what server this is. This is my server, actually. And oh, I don't have the diamonds. So let me grab those. So we could do slash backpack and grab two diamonds out of our six so this is actually using quite a bit but i think it'll be pretty useful as uh, finding pokey loot chests is really really useful honestly as i do have tons of goodies and some items this is not how they go though um yeah it goes like this and like that and then like that and then like no and like that and like that and there you go so item finder hidden pokey loot finder thing i don't know what that said i didn't really read it but so let's see i don't know how this works and uh how does this work oh so is it only analyzing locates hidden pokey loot oh so it's only for hidden pokey loot chests oh well um that's different because it used to like i direct you toward them hmm. I chose the direction of the nearest pokey loot chest. Oh. So, um, clearly there's not a pokey loot chest within a distance for us. And I'm actually here on. This is, um, com completely and utterly cheating. But I'm going to try something really fast. And I'm going to go into creative just to make sure I crafted this right. And let's see. So we can get a pokey chest. And, um, we'll throw down the pokey chest right here. I'll go back into survival. And we'll throw down the pokey chest. And let's see if this works. Um, I don't get it. Does it not work right now, or? Uh, <laughs> uh, so hidden? Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, so it tells you which way it is. So that means it goes this way. And then uh, when you find it, you can go like that. And um, you can break it, I guess. How do you get this thing? I thought you right-clicked it. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just leave it there. <laughs> because uh, I, I it was hacked in anyway, so or spawned in. So not like I really wanted to begin with, as I uh, thought it would be the cheap way out. So we're already up to level 42. That's quite, quite a high level we are now. And we can throw the excess iron in there, because I don't want to be carrying that stuff around along with the gold. But now that we have that out of the way, what I'm also going to need here is just because I don't want to go to spawn every time we need a PC. I can't get a Wil Whelmer pail. Couldn't I? No, I don't have any bones. But um, just because I'm not... Whoa, what is this? Mystery dungeon map. I guess that's not really useful right now. But I'm just looking at all the things on the crafting recipe that I did not know were here. We can get an old rod. And um, what is this? Stick and string. Well, we threw all the string on the ground, didn't we? So let's go try and get that back. And um, yeah, what do I do with you now? I, I mean, I don't think I can mine you, right? Cheat mode. First come, first served. Huh. I'm getting that impression that I can't actually mind you. I could be wrong, but no. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I can. So I'll just leave him there because he's not bothering anyone. And um, killing him would not be the best decision, I don't think. And we actually have a, um, one of those guys right there. Oh, look, the pincer versus the uh, the Venomot right here. Let's see who wins. Actually, just kidding, because I'm pretty sure we all know the pincer will win because he's got like a 90 level advantage. But yeah, that's okay. So what we can do is run back over here, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is let's go. Let's see what else we can craft. So let's see. We got uh, we got pokey loot chest. We have a part of a cloning machine. Not gonna use a cloning machine quite yet. Um, I definitely am gonna want to get a trade machine for the town, but I can't afford that either. So what I think we should do now is um, one build a healer and two build a um, a PC because frankly every town needs a PC and we actually have just enough pieces to build a PC but not just enough pieces to build a PC and a healer we only have options for one or the other but since we have pokey heal for the time being I do think having a PC will be more more important to us and right now uh, what's the most important is actually I think smacking these things down because frankly we don't have many other uses for them so we can continue to smack them down I'll continue to drink some coffee while that goes on Hopefully we can establish a beautiful, beautiful town. So, 
uh, while we do this, I may as well set the like goal for the video. So again, we're going to try and hit 125 likes this video. And as I mentioned last video, if we can hit that in 24 hours or a reasonable period of time, if we're really close to 24 hours, you know, 25 hours is a reasonable period of time. But at the end of that time period, if we do hit that, what I would love to do is actually get um, get a do a live stream Friday. If we can hit that on a bunch of videos, I figured I would celebrate to do that, do a nice pixel on live stream and film that episode. So I thought that would be kind of fun and you guys would be able to interact with me and stuff like that. So a live stream Friday, potentially, if you guys continue to get 125 likes. So if you guys do want to see that live stream, I suggest you start liking because that's how you'll get it. And I don't have any redstone with me. I should have took more out of that chest. Um, I think this is the last thing we're going to be building for a little while. So I don't think I'm going to need any more than one, but watch, I'm going to be wrong again and have to go back in the chest with the next thing I build. That is my guess. And uh, so the redstone lamp goes in the middle. If I could put it there, that goes there and um, you go in the bottom. And I actually didn't do that. So there you go. We got our very own PC. So I'm going to, you can break these things, right? I hope you can, because, um, this is not going to be this permanent place, but I'm going to put it there for the time being, uh, just because I don't really have a better place for it. And um, yeah, that's really the only reason. So I was in negotiations about trading with someone for um, a uh, uh, Mudkip, as that is the next Pokemon we want. So we may consider doing that. I also do want to build a house this episode because, well, we don't have a house and we're kind of far into this. So we get to finish this guy off really quickly, though, and uh, we really heavily out-leveled him. <laughs> that was kind of bad. And we also need a farm, I guess, too, kind of. So we do have one melon. Uh, melon seeds, rather, not one melon, and, uh, where are those? Are those in my backpack? I'm gonna go check really quickly, backpack, and, uh, melon seeds, here we are. So, I don't have a hoe, we can make one really fast, I guess I'll make an iron hoe, because, frankly, I don't have, uh, actually, no, I'll make a stone hoe, because we're really not gonna need it that much, and I think I'm gonna put this, the, the farm, the town farm, near the end, so maybe we could have a dock over there, or actually, maybe not, because that's not the best place for a farm, is it? And we're going to get some other seeds from that, but no, maybe right here for the time being. Yeah, right? I mean, I, or maybe kind of more towards the center. But oh yeah, I still got to show you why this is a good place for a town. Uh, I completely forgot to do that. But we can place the melon seeds right there. For the time being, melon farms are a lot easier to maintain than most other farms. But basically, why I chose this place as a farm is if we fly up on Tropius, as you can see right here, you have a forest biome. We're actually technically in a forest biome there. And the forest biomes, note, are different than jungle biomes. That's a jungle biome. And, um... Forest biomes have all kinds of cool Pokemon and stuff like that. Oh, what's this? I don't know what this biome's called. Is this a, is this con a continuation of the forest? I don't know. I didn't I didn't scout out too much. We actually have um, a Thunderstone chart, it looks like, right there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. We could go grab that really quickly. And um, yeah, so that's good. Hello, Thunderstone chart. Awesome. So what we can do is jump back on him, and if we could even scan here a little. No, no, no one's around. So what we can do is jump back on Tropius, and we'll fly back up in the air, and I'll hit F3 really quickly. And yeah, so as you can see, we have a tr uh, forest biome, we have another jungle biome right over there, and uh, obviously that jungle biome right there next to us. And then if you go out here, you do have a nice plains biome. So that was kind of cool. Oh, it's a Pokeloot thing, right? Where'd my Pokeloot scanner, though? Go. Go. And, um, I think that's another Pokemon. Uh, well, it's not telling me. Maybe it doesn't tell me if it gets down. Oh, no, it is! See? Haha! -ha. So, we have another Pokeloot thing right here. So, that's kind of cool. Or, this is an actual Pokeloot thing. So, this is one of those naturally spawning Pokeloot, um, chest thingies. And, ooh, a ma- <gasps> That's a Master Ball! Oh, damn. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So taking a beautiful screenshot there, and um, no, that, that wasn't a beautiful screenshot. You know what's a beautiful screenshot? Oh, oh okay. Well, you kind of are uh, quite invasive there, Mill Tank, and uh, that's quite the. No, no, that's that's not really not the beautiful. Oh God, Mill Tank's not even in this shot anymore, and Mill Tank getting trapped in the wall. Mill Tank, come on, man. Come on, stop, stop messing around, man. All right, that, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Come on, who could who could take a nice screenshot? Um, not M Bauer. Tropius did fly me here, and Tropius is quite small, so we could, I guess Trop Tropius, go in the building. What are you doing in the wall, mate? Yeah, there you go. No, gotta go in the wall, mate. Or don't go in the wall, mate. So there you go. Beautiful screenshot there with Tropius facing the wall, eating the wall. So let's see, what do we get out of this? Oh! Aerial Ace, that's another really, really good move. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, if we get a flying Pokemon, which I believe Tropius is a flying Pokemon, maybe teaching Aerial Ace to Tropius. Um, 
let's let's look this let's look into this a little bit so um if we go on smogon university we can check out if tropius is uh, a good pick for aerial ace and i want to say yes for some reason i really do but uh, what we can do in the meantime is uh, go fly around and um air slash air slash air slash Aerial ace. Nope, I guess not. Just by that noise. And uh, we'll see if on here. Yeah, it can learn. Uh, well, it's only a power of 60. Um, but it ignores evasion modifiers. I don't know. I feel like that could be a really good thing. Oh, what is that? I know what that is. So yeah, as you can see, I clearly did not search around too much. Uh, we're obviously going to need an apricorn farm too, but we did find a Pokemon Center right over here. And um, I do want to keep resetting my item finder in case we do. Oh, oh! Oh, okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is why I made the item finder, because I knew we'd be in some new territory. And um, it's telling me there's a there's an item, there's a Pixelmon item this way. So, oh. Oh, okay, so it's this. Oh, there we are. And I found a Macho Brace. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Finding all kinds of new stuff. And um, I'm going to go look around a little bit. No, nothing else, though. So we can do is check out what's in this Pokemon Center, and yeah, see, isn't adventuring fun? Wow, that was really exciting. <laughs> I had a uh, like I I didn't even realize we would find so much stuff right over here. Um, where's the entrance though? Oh, it's right here. Wow, I just went right by it. Wow, that's embarrassing. So we can do is jump down here, and as you can see, we got a, it's a miniature Pokemon Center, as you can see. But I don't think you could break these things, can you? No. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh, oh. Okay, so we got a bunch. Of, we got two PCs from that. Uh, go us, and um, yeah, so we could go check out our item finder a little bit more, and we'll see what else is in the area. I obviously do have my town set, or I'm sorry, I do have my home set. But yeah, getting two PCs for the town is actually really useful, and it kind of just negates all of me getting that PC, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's okay. So what we can do is go fly around a bit, and I don't see any other items, right? No? Okay, I, does I get really close to that? I don't see anything else really uh, at all, so we can go fly around a bit, though, see what it is. Oh, another Pokemon Center right over there, so we could go check that one out, too. Maybe another item will be near it, uh, another little Poke loot chest, as the Poke loot chest... Pokey loot chest have actually gotten smaller and smaller with the updates, and um, but yeah, it doesn't it definitely looks like this is some unclaimed or un untraversed territory. I definitely am not seeing anybody over here wandering, so that's good for us. Oh. Okay, as I say that. <laughs> so definitely someone's definitely been here. Um so maybe it's just part of the world or uh, part of the section. I don't know. But uh yeah, so we can go continue back to our town and try and see what is going on. And um yeah, we'll, we'll go see, go back to our town, and as you can see, we obviously do, uh, do need to create, oh, 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 I thought that was a, I thought that was a shiny, I, I got excited for a second, but it is not, unfortunately, what we can do, though, is, uh, go fly back on this way, and I'm not seeing anything, so let's see, what do we got, oh, there's the Pokemon Center, I am so lost, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, oh, no, I keep doing that, <laughs> so we could go slash home, uh, slash home, Town. See, this is why I was smart to send, set my home there. And as you can see, I, what I'll do is, what the hell is this? Hey. Uh, stop. What? What? Stop. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go fly back on him, and we can go continue to scatter around. So as I did say, yeah, we do have this guy right here. And, um, what we do got right here is this beautiful, beautiful jungle biome. And what the, what the advantage of this is, I'm going to try and make this part of the town, and we could chop down a section of the jungle biome, and kind of make it a good hunt place for hunting jungle Pokemon. And frankly, jungle Pokemon are awesome. As well as we also have a, um... A, uh, a, uh, I can't, I can't remember the name, a swamp biome right here, so this is also awesome, we could try and find a mud cave, but that is a very tiny thing, so tiny that I'm going to have to kill you, sorry sir, and uh, we're going to have to magical leaf you a few times, and uh, actually, yeah, magical leaf kind of sucks, unfortunately, and I'm going to take a drink of coffee really quickly though, so we'll do that, and water sport, he'll try and water sport me, but I don't think so, actually leveling up Monferno, who is going to almost be a, um, a, Chimchar? Yeah, Chimchar. I couldn't remember what it evolved into. That was bad. But, uh, yeah, so I don't seem to see anything over here. And, uh, and as I come back, I find this. So I literally just walked into this. And, um, hello. 
So there you go, getting a nice friend ball, so that's pretty good. I, I do definitely want to be friends with my Pokemon, and holy crap, I thought that was, I don't even know what I thought that was, but I just saw a bunch of tails all aligned right next to each other, so that was kind of cool, as I changed my voice to this, because hey, why not? But, um, yeah, so what my question is to you guys is, as we're moving forward with the series, obviously I gave you a pretty good um, example of where the town is. What I want to do over the um, thing is I'm going to try and recruit a few people to the town, and hopefully we can kind of monitor the progress each day of where the town goes. Goes. Obviously, right here is the town, as I just got lost a little bit, and I wanted to comfort myself to make sure I knew where it was, but it is okay. We do know where we are, and um, so I'm going to go claim a bunch of pieces of the town right now. So it looks like, ow, that hurt. Uh, yeah, it does look like that hurt. So we can eat that up really quickly, though, and I'm going to try and recruit some people, and we'll do slash T claim, and oh, oh, I got to do slash T deposit first. Um... Oh, slash town deposit. We'll do 500 bucks. And then uh, we can do slash claim or slash T claim. And we can claim a bit of land. There we go. And please be patient. Plots will become available soon. Um, please be patient. Plots will be available soon. And we'll do one more. Actually, I, I do want to go all the way. Oh, it isn't really. I beg to differ, mate. Um, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, annex area, world, blah, 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 and T claim. And I definitely want to go into here and get at least part of this jungle so we could start branching out into here. So no one could, uh, I if anything, um, the jungle will be there. So, oh, what's going on there? That's weird. Uh, there's like a, what, a wilderness in the middle or something? Oh, no, it was just processing me still that it was uh, claiming. I didn't know it did that. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, there you go. So we do have a bunch of claim land. So what I'm going to ask you guys is how much building do you want to see on camera? And uh, obviously with doing a new part of the series, I do want to, before I continue that, like it was with the mining in the first episode, I kind of showed you about the uh, the area around here. We did a bunch of adventuring, found quite a cool, uh, quite a cool few few items and few surrounding things. So what I want to ask you guys is, obviously we can uh, do just Pokemon training, just Pokemon battling, and I'll work on the town and I'll just show you stuff like that. Or do you want to see actual building of the town? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. Please give me a hundred, or please let's see if we can get 125 likes, and we can, I'll reward you guys with two episodes tomorrow and a live stream on Friday. So if we could do that, that would be awesome. I'll work on getting rid of this Pokeball because um yeah well it's it's yeah and uh yeah so hope to see you all next time and uh yeah that was the worst outro ever but it's okay